Okay, so we've got our setup. We have our wall. We have your bookshelf. Oh, I have to use my controller. I forgot because you are a controller at the moment. So I'm going to go to housing and our furnishings, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to throw down... Actually, I just made this so I can use what you have. It doesn't have to go there right now. It's just where I'm going to set it since this is where I'm going to hang the curtain. I found trying to like place curtains on... Let me see if that's going to be even tall enough. Uh, yeah, that's plenty tall enough. I mean, if it's not, you can always use my second favorite item, which is the stage panel. This is what I usually use, but if you're floating other objects, then this can cause problems. So for now, we'll just use the one that you have to keep it consistent. We got it floated, or excuse me, not floated, but at least hung to the height we wanted. So if they face the items, it's a little bit easier to cycle through with the D-pad um, to grab the one that you want. I'm going to line this guy up here. Now it's all snapping. If I don't want it to snap, I can. you can see at the top of my screen, it says press Y for disable snap grid. So that makes a little bit more smooth movement there. Smooth movement. But yeah, sometimes it's nice to have a snap grid just to keep things uniform or to line up with other stuff. Alright, sweet. That's where we have it. That's where we want it. Okay, now what we're going to do is use the D-pad again to um, cycle over to the curtain. Once you have the curtain, uh, hit A on your controller, if you're using an Xbox controller, grab it. You want to pick it up. Move it. See how you can move it around when you pick it up. Now what you want to do is at the top of your screen it says press L, B, and Y to disable counter placement. Um, and that's what we want. Now we can't connect this here anymore. So what you want to do next is hit your cancel button. For me it's B on the Xbox controller and it just lets it go. And it pings back to where it last was attached. It's a good rule of thumb to do this at least twice. Um, picking it up and grabbing it. And then don't put it anywhere. Just drop it. Uh, to get it to detach the wall that, or shelf that you're using to float said item. Now you can see when I cycle over to grab my floating wall. It no longer is highlighting the curtain. So I can grab the wall and I can move it away. If we know it works by backing out of our housing menu and it stays put like so.